has some benefits, but it can also be a total waste of money. I know that everyone online swears by it, and they're right that there is some validity to the creatine craze, but only if, and here's the kicker, you are also doing resistance training twice a week. Multiple randomized control trials have found that creatine can create small but real changes in upper and lower body strength, but only when combined with resistance training. So the question you have to ask yourself is, Am I doing enough resistance training? If not, then my answer to whether you should take creatine supplements is a real solid no. If you're already doing resistance training and you're at higher risk of losing muscle mass, like postmenopausal women, people in GLP-1 medications, older people in nursing homes, or maybe you just want a small boost, then it's totally reasonable to talk to your physician about creatine supplements. So what can creatine actually do for you? Some studies have shown that younger adults who supplement with creatine while resistance training can improve their chest and bench press strength by about four pounds. Some people might feel like four pounds isn't life-changing, but if you're in a higher risk group, it might be worth it. I'm Dr. Tricia. I'm a physician and scientist at Harvard Medical School and I'm the Ask a Doctor columnist for the Washington Post. And I love answering your questions. What other supplements are you curious about? Let me know in the comments.